Hi everyone, I hope you're well. So we all know Tammy and Amy's brother Chris in 1000 Pound Sisters and we all might have heard he has created his own YouTube channel. I thought we could have a look at it and see what he's posting. So let's go. 10,000 subscribers already, that's good. 15 videos with cheesecake. I love me a cheesecake. I might follow that actually. Right, I'm just gonna go to the beginning. His first video was three weeks ago. Just a simple man trying to make it. And it's only 18 seconds long, let's have a look. Okay, that was really cute, but I can't play the music, it's copyrighted. So it was this song here, if you want to actually listen to the song, or if you want to go watch his video, I will leave his channel in the description. Well, that was a beautiful first video. It was better than my first video. Okay, this one's called Me. Okay, okay, there's no music. Uh, um, Chris? Oh, okay. It was just his face for 10 seconds. You know, I love that. I think I might be my favourite video on this platform. Oh my god, I love it. Breakfast gravy? What's breakfast gravy? Is that an American thing? Is it biscuits and gravy? Is that what it is? You confuse me with this. Hi, we're gonna sit here and make my wife some gravy, milk gravy. Well, actually, I call it brown gravy. Milk gravy. What's milk gravy? Because she likes I'm it made with bacon grease. I am confused. What is breakfast gravy? What? It looks like soup. Does it get thicker? And then, when it starts to boil, you turn it off. I am confused. What is what is breakfast gravy? I'm gonna have to search it. Oh, it looks gross. I'm sorry to all you Americans who probably love this dish. It looks gross. It's biscuits and gravy. That's what it is, isn't it? No, that's not a biscuit. It's a scone or a scone. Right, I'm gonna stop searching it because I'm gonna get annoyed and I'm probably gonna annoy you lot. So let's just continue with Chris's videos. Oh, this one's called Seeing Yourself on TV. Is it just him? Great. Oh, this one says, I like the sisters, but you're my favorite. That's so cute, I love that. There's a lot of positivity on this channel, it's great. So we've got chicken alfredo, number one, two, three, four, and we've got cheesecake. I'm gonna watch the cheesecake, because I like cheesecake. I was gonna say I'd love to make it, like right now, I want to make it, but it's got an electric whisk and I don't have one. Unless I can go to the shop and find one. Right, we're gonna watch it and see what happens. To be honest, this is the cheesy, the easiest. It's the cheesiest, easiest cheesecake recipe. <laughs> oh, I love it. I can't find. It is two blocks of cream cheese, a can of sweetened condensed milk. I always use the cap for the, uh... What? What's he talking about? A bit, oh, About okay. a teaspoon. A vanilla. Is he he's, is he shirtless? I mean, go for it. Some people might be into it. I personally am not. I can't see what he's doing. You get all the stuff out of the can, and then you take your what mixer. Kind? Oh, okay, that's his chest. Okay, I saw his nipple. And there's two blocks of cream cheese, a fourth of a cup of lemon juice. And a can of sweetened condensed milk. Pretty much that much in there. I want to try and make it, like now. I'm gonna watch the rest and see what happens. If it's, you know, if it's an easy thing to do. It looks quite easy, but I've never made a cheesecake before, so not easy for me. I will say that it won't be easy for me. So let's watch the rest. So basically all you do is you take your spatula, your cake spatula, and you pour it from that bowl into here. So just a second. This is how I recorded when I did the Anne Boleyn spaghetti video. I didn't know what to do with my camera or where to put it. I'm so inexperienced. That looks pretty good. Oh, it makes me hungry. 
when you get done with it, you just set it up. Okay, okay, okay. He put the lid on his hairy chest and then put the lid on the cheesecake. Please start cutting things out of your videos. I love it, I love the video, love it. I want to have this cheesecake now. Maybe not that one that possibly has your hair in it. I might go make the cheesecake, I might go make it. You know what? Right, end of the video and then we'll talk about Chris and then that's it, I'm gonna go make the cheesecake. In this video, I'm not even gonna split it up. I'm gonna make the cheesecake in this video now. Any kind of fruit would really be okay with it. So you just take it in there and then after you do that, you put it in the fridge for a little bit to chill and then it's done. Done, just like that, in six minutes. I can make a cheesecake in six minutes. No, I can't actually, I can't even say that without laughing at myself. Oh, this has got so many comments. So first of all, I love his channel already. He's got a lot of cooking videos and they actually look okay. They look fine. Cause you know, when we see other people cook, like, you know, Anne Boleyn Reed, just saying. Her food is a bit, especially when I've tried it, it's a bit, no, no. But Chris's things actually look really tasty. I want to try them. Oh, he's got a community post. Everything's going, but the struggle with dieting is crazy sometimes. Ah, uh, oh, he's just got a lot of love. Oh, that's so sweet. So basically, all in all, I love Chris's channel and I want to try that cheesecake. So I need to go shopping to find a bloody hand mixer and whatever else he said in the video. And we're gonna go make it. Let's go. Okay, back from the shop. Um, it was busy and I hated it. There was too many people and it was horrible. So I got a handheld mixer. I got baking paper, but I forgot to use it on the base. I got biscuits because I made the base instead. Here's me making it. I'll pop a little clip here. I just had to throw all the biscuits together and put some butter on it. A lot of the biscuits didn't crush well, but that's chilling in the fridge. Um, I got the condensed milk and I got strawberries for the topping. A lemon because he says he uses a fresh lemon but he didn't have one and then i got not one not two but three packets of cream cheese because in his video his cream cheese is like thick blocks and he says two and i couldn't find any big ones so i just got three small little packets and hopefully that'll be okay so let's begin cream cheese first and then he put his milk in and then his i can't remember if he says tablespoon or teaspoon for the vanilla extract, I'm gonna have a cheeky look and see what he says because I can't bloody remember. So I've kind of had to prop you up in a really weird space, but we'll go from here. So see, mine are like really small. So I've got three. So I'm gonna use them all and see how it goes. Trial and error. So I'm sorry that you can't really see. I'll try to show you as we go along. It's a bit watery. Why is it watery? Oh, I should have got bigger bowl never mind it will do so that's one see actually that's quite a lot maybe i will just use two i don't i don't know he didn't give any like measurements or anything so i don't know exactly what i'm doing and um my best friend she makes cheesecakes all the time and they taste absolutely gorgeous so if she's watching Please stop watching. She, she's going to be so angry with me if she ever sees this video. Okay, that looks like enough cream cheese. There's quite a lot. So I'm going to just stick with two. That's what I'm going to do. Right, see, I just picked up this condensed milk. I couldn't find the one he was looking at or the one he used. I don't even know the one he used because I don't think he said it. I've never made anything that needed condensed milk. I didn't know it looked like that. Oh, that looks gross, I'm sorry. That came out grim. See, now it just looks like there's more milk than there is cheese. Teaspoon of vanilla extract, not a tablespoon. 
Okay, so I'm going to give it a whisk and then add the lemon juice because that's how he did it. Maybe I shouldn't be mixing it at all. See, it's, it's a very liquidy consistency. That's the thing. Like, did I add too much condensed milk? I don't know. It's gonna go everywhere, isn't it? Okay, I'm sure I've gone wrong somewhere. It's still liquidy as hell. Really liquidy. Maybe I do need to add more cream cheese. I don't know. It's just. Let me give it a good whisk for a while and see what happens. Many hours later. <laughs> okay, I think whisking it has done. Bloody nothing, honestly. Maybe I do need to add more cream cheese. Oh, for God's sake. Why well, can't I do anything right? Right, I'm gonna get a bigger bowl. Bigger bowl. Right, I'm gonna tip you down a little bit so you can see. See, it's just liquidy. I'm, I've definitely done it wrong. Like, there's no doubt about it. I'm pour it in here, you'll see how liquid it is. It's like, it's like a cake batter or something. Oh, I got on my shirt. Right, let's hope this will thicken it up. I'm gonna give it a mix and then I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I've been whisking for like five minutes. I don't know. It takes Chris about five minutes to make his. It took me about five minutes to whisk mine. <laughs> it definitely helped adding that cream cheese and giving it a good old wix. A good old wix, yes a good old mix because it's definitely like thickened up as you can tell it's loads better like the consistency is a lot better okay here we go so that's what it looks like as you can see it looks a lot better than before um i'm gonna chop the lemon that we have and then i'm gonna stick some lemon in it and we're gonna give it uh, another mix okay so i don't have like a juicer or anything and hopefully the pips don't come out. I'm going to try and... Actually, I think a half is enough. He said like a fourth of that bottle he was using. And it looks like I've about reached how much juice he had in there. Oh no, a pip went in. Oh crap. Don't worry, I washed my hands before I recorded. And now I have to go wash them again. I'm a wire for this microphone isn't that long. <laughs> so hopefully I don't pull you guys with me. That's how much juice I put in. See it all here? It looks gross, but I think that's about enough that he put in. So I'm going to leave it as that. I only used half a lemon. I think we're done, actually. I will be honest, it is a quick and easy recipe, like he said. Is If you've got the right measurements and the right stuff. And I didn't, because I'm dumb. I can't get these... Okay, I've done it. Okay, that's done. As you can tell, I'm not a baker. I make cookies and brownies, that's all I make. Is making cheesecake considered a baker? Right, the base that I made is supposed to have an hour to chill. I probably put that in the fridge about 20 minutes ago. So I'm gonna have to wait a little bit and then throw it all together and see how it goes. So my plan is as soon as it's all chilled together, I'm gonna melt some white chocolate and some strawberries and put it on top and decorate it. I know he didn't decorate his, I just want to do mine. See, the thing is, in the UK, it's Mothering Sunday on the 14th. I'm recording this on the Friday? Is it Friday? Yeah, it's Friday. It's Friday the 12th I'm recording this. I know this video probably won't come out for a while because editing and laziness and procrastination. So I wanted to decorate mine because hopefully if it tastes okay, I might be able to give it to my mother-in-law for Mother's Day. <laughs> She's probably watching this and going, oh, delicious. So I stopped recording literally about two seconds ago and then I went to check on the biscuit and it's actually pretty solid already. Like it looks fine. It's not really moving. It feels quite solid, a little bit soft, 
but I think I'm just gonna pour it in. Here we go, here's the cheesecake. Still a little bit liquidy, but I hope obviously it will harden up, okay? So my biscuit base is here. I'm sorry that you can't see it. I'm really bad at camera angles. I can't even fit in the camera. It's fine. It's a work in progress. We can do this. Okay. It is, it's quite thick actually. Like it's not really, fuck, I feel, I think I might drop the bowl. Quite thick. She's thick. There's quite a lot. Jeez, oh my god. Here's my finished product. It looks so it looks okay for a first cheesecake that I've ever made. It's still a little bit, as you can see, it's a little bit looks like jelly. But yeah, I'm gonna throw this in the fridge for a few hours and then we're gonna come back and see what it looks like. Okay, so it's now the next day. So last night I uh, I let the cheesecake chill for about an hour and then I took it out, I chopped some strawberries up and I melted some chocolate and just sprinkled it on top. I will show it somewhere. So it looks okay to be honest. Hopefully it tastes okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you it. Um, I'm, I'm not going to take like a big chunk out of it because obviously I said I'm taking it to my family's. I just want to know that it tastes okay. I don't want to give them a crappy cheesecake. So I'm going to take like the tiniest bite. And then when I take it to my family's later, I'm just going to like pop up some writing or whatever to say how they felt. It's gone like the littlest bit watery. I don't know. I'll show, you, I'll show you it now. So you know what I'm talking about. So here's the cheesecake. See, it's very like... Should it, should it be like that? It's a very... I don't know how to describe it, but you can see it's quite, maybe that's just the top, I don't know if the rest of it will be like that. Yeah, I'm going to try the tiniest bit and see what happens. I don't really want to pop it out the case just in case it like falls apart. I don't know if it's actual, actually like solid yet. It's been like 20 hours chilling in the fridge, so I don't know if like, it's very soft. I don't know how much to get. I've gone from the edge. Okay, here we go. See, it's got like a bit of everything on it. Showing the wrong place. Bit of everything on it, I got the base. And we'll see how it goes. It doesn't have the consistency of a cheesecake. You know, when you get a cheesecake, it's quite solid, like the actual cheese, cheesy filling. You know what I mean? Well, it doesn't fall apart. This one tastes very, like, liquidy, kind of, like, creamy. I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, keep it in the fridge a bit longer. I'm not saying it tastes bad. It just tastes a cheese. It doesn't have, like, an actual flavour. So maybe I needed to put more lemon in it. I'm not sure. It doesn't have a flavour in. It's just cheese. Got, like, a really small bit again. The actual cheesecake thing. I don't know what it's called. It kind of just melts in your mouth. But again, it has no flavour. I mean, Chris did say it's like an easy, easy cheesecake recipe kind of thing. So, you know, if, if you wanted something quick, this will do. It worked, sort of. It's a bit liquidy. I think it will be okay, actually, giving it to other people, like serving it to my family. I mean, if they don't like it, then they don't like it. I think I would make it again. Maybe like just tweak it. Maybe it does need to be in the fridge a little bit longer. I don't know, maybe later it will be more solid and we'll try it then and see what my family thinks. So yeah, that's all from me. Um, I don't know if this video will be any longer. Hopefully I will tell you what I thought and what my family thought in a second. So that's it from me. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Leave a like if, if you enjoyed it and subscribe and all that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.